Happy Vlogmas Day 17! <laughs> Silent night I only have one wish for the shooting star Holy night Send me someone to love so I What's up my chair bones? On today's video, you already know what the title is. This is part two of the top five most viral Middle Eastern fragrances that TikTok made you buy. And I'm gonna let you guys know if they are worth it. Okay, like I said, I'm a victim to TikTok and I know you guys are. And if you're watching this video, you definitely wanna see if these are worth it before purchasing because you guys already know that TikTok is fast paced, blah, 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 buy it now. But on YouTube, we take our time, we marinate before we actually buy something. You guys already know I'm your girl when it comes to smelling good. So if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead and grab a seat, grab a drink, and let's get right into this video. You already know that Middle Eastern fragrances are it right now. They're trending all over social media, but especially on TikTok. There's one of these fragrances that my video definitely went viral on TikTok when I shared it a few years back, and um, they're starting to resurface again. And a lot of these are fragrances that I even bought off of TikTok, and some of these I bought because of YouTube. Casablanca. Now, Casablanca from Sister Arabian, look at my bottle. Of course, it is halfway full, and the juice is definitely giving dark now casa okay so casablanca was definitely released in 2016. a lot of people said that this was supposed to be a dupe for mula mula that's the main reason why i bought it back in 2020 but baby let me just tell you this right now it is its own fragrance it is not a dupe for anything that i've smelled at least if anybody were to dupe it would be a dupe of this okay so swiss arabian really did that i don't know if they were trying to dupe something but they made their own creation which became one of their most popular out of their whole entire line. Go ahead and get this, okay? Spoiler alert. So at the top you have apple and grapes. In the mid you have white woods, patchouli and iris. In the base you have caramel, amber, peru blossom, suede, and musk. Oh my gosh, let me just tell y'all right now. If you're looking for a candied apple fragrance, this is it. I really enjoy this one during the spring, summer, fall, and winter, okay? It is an all around good fragrance. You could wear this by itself or layer it. I remember the perfume girls was hyping this up back in 2020 on YouTube and that's the reason why I got it but then recently in 2022 going on to 2023 the girls on TikTok finally discovered this and they made it viral I'm just gonna say this right now I don't care who gets mad about it but YouTube always did it first TikTok is bringing out these new trends and making things go viral I guess they went on YouTube and then they trying to bring it on TikTok first. But they been went viral on YouTube. I'm just saying that right now, right now, right now. And this is one that went viral on YouTube. For example, right at this moment, Grand Soir is going viral. But I've been had Grand Soir when it went viral on YouTube, okay? And that was three years ago. So I'm just telling you guys that now. Um, I'm not mad at TikTok. I love TikTok. I am a TikTok creator, okay? But I'm just saying like, you guys, most of the time these things are not new. They're just resurfacing again. And this is one that resurfaced again. And let me just tell you this right now. You need it. You need it. Casablanca is the Middle Eastern fragrance that I feel like everyone should have in their collection. If you like apple, caramel, and amber, this is it. It's so sexy. And honestly, you guys, this will last all day on the skin. And when I tell y'all a fragrance lasts all day, half of the time is because I sprayed on my clothes as well. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. And honestly, I don't even have to say that because y'all be seeing me when I'm spraying. I don't only focus on my skin. I spray everywhere okay including my clothes so when i tell you this smells amazing on the skin and it lasts 10 plus hours on the skin i'm not lying on the skin 10 plus hours so if you're looking for a fragrance that you could just throw on and leave this is perfect it's perfect for date night it's perfect for a signature scent it's perfect to stand out because not everyone is going to smell like this this is so viral on tiktok and instagram and youtube or whatever but still, the average person is not wearing this. So if you're trying to stand out on a budget, this is perfect. And what I like about these Middle Eastern fragrances is that they are affordable. So I highly recommend Casablanca by Cesar Arabian. And if you ask me, it is definitely worth all the hype that has been getting on social media. Now this next one is one that is very new to the fragrance world. It came out in 2023, but it's been going viral. Listen, I've been talking about this scent profile, but not this specific scent, okay? And let me just tell y'all this right now, before y'all even see the bottle, get your Amazon storefront ready. Before you even see the packaging, go ahead and click the link, okay? And order it right now because you're gonna wanna get this one. And it's from Swiss 
Saudi Arabian and it's Oud Amar. I think that's what it's called. Now, let me just tell y'all this right now. This is inspired by Jardin Exclusive by Mansara. It's inspired by Zherzhov Herba Pura. This right here is a beast of a fragrance. It's Amber Oud Gold. You guys know how much I love Amber Oud Gold. This is what this is in just a different packaging. So they decided to make their own inspiration. The performance is crazy. It smells exactly like Amber Oud Gold. At the top, you have freesia, peach, iris, bergamot, and melon. In the mid, you have tonka bean, rose, amber, and apple. In the base, you have vanilla, sandalwood, cedar, amber, musk, and oud. If you ask me, there's no oud in here. There is no oud in here. It's all woody notes and you don't smell none of that. All you get is the vanilla, the tonka bean, the apple, and all the fruity and floral notes at the top. It is so good. It is so sexy. It's so delicious. Do you need this? Yes. If you don't have Amber Oud Gold, Herba Pura, Jordan Exclusive, you need this. But if you have those, you don't need this. I feel like this is perfect for gifting because you guys already know Swiss Arabian have their beautiful box. The packaging is just so pretty. Someone opened this up on Christmas Day. You can't tell me nothing. You definitely won, okay, when it came to gift gifting. And it's beautiful. And who doesn't want to smell good? It's unisex so a man and a woman can wear it. I mean, if you ask me, this is definitely worth the hype. You guys already know I finished my Amber Gold, so I have this one. So I'm not going to order that one until this one finishes. Long wearing, super compliment getting. Most people wouldn't even know if this is Amber Oud Gold or Oud Amar. So I'm just letting you guys know if you have Amber Oud Gold, you don't need it. But if you don't and you've been on the fence, definitely get this one. Now this next fragrance is one that I personally made go viral, okay? If my video hit over 1 million, then I wanna say that I went viral, okay? <laughs> And this fragrance, when I talked about it, it instantly sold out on Amazon. Amazon reached out and told me that, hey, this is when we're going to have it back in stock. All I said was, if you don't want to spend $400 on creative interest for her, get this one instead. It was so easy. I didn't expect this video to go viral. I did expect people to place some orders, but the girls sold it out. All her main, La Venture Femme. You guys know how much I love this one. Y'all know how much I love this one. This one has the top notes of pineapple, black currant, bergamot, and wild berries. In the mid, you have cedar, freesia, and rose. In the base, you have musk, sandalwood, amber, and vanilla. Now, the issue that most people have is that Creative Vences for her does not last as long as they want it to for that price tag. Now, for me, I get a good seven to eight hours on my skin and my clothes when I overspray it. But realistically speaking, for 400 something dollars, it needs to last three years on my skin. I'm just saying, because that price tag is definitely not giving the longevity. Because I have fragrances like Casablanca that's giving me 12 hours plus for 45, 460, $80. Definitely less than 100. Our Hermes Love and Triple Femme, baby, this right here, 12 hours plus, and I've given it 12 hours because I was out all day long one time and I left around 8 a.m. We had so much errands to do. Yeah, I got home at midnight. And let me just tell y'all this, this did not disappoint. Even when I got home, passed by my husband, he was like, babe, you are blowing up the room. I smelled you the moment you opened up the door. And he was just like, dang, that fragrance is good. And that was around the time that I first got it. Then the next time I wore it, it was sitting for two to three months. After two to three months, baby, I have to wash my clothes to get this off because it's just that strong. This is my fourth bottle of this fragrance. This one is just like Amber Oud Gold. I cannot stop repurchasing it. It is such a good fragrance. So if you're looking for a fragrance that's gonna get you the compliments, that's gonna last long, and that smells like a Vincent's for her, this is it. When you put this fragrance on, you feel very bold. You feel like you have the power of the world. This fragrance is such a bold and outspoken fragrance. You really don't have to say nothing for people to know that you got money. This literally smells like money. People are always telling me that I smell rich, I smell like I have money, and I'm just like, well, that's it. This is the one, this is the one. So if you wanna smell like money, this is it. Now this next fragrance is for my Grimaud lovers, okay? When I seen this fragrance, I heard it from Fumi Monet. But girl, when she talked about this one, I fell in love. This one is for the Grimaud lovers. If you like sugar, if you like berries, if you like amber and vanilla cacao, this one is it. And it is Nebras. Oh my gosh. So Nebras came out in 2022 and Eilish came out in 2022. This is supposed to be a dude for Eilish and I will have to say it definitely is. So this one has the top notes of red berries and mandarin orange. It has the middle notes of vanilla, cacao, and rose. And then it has the base notes of sugar, tonka bean, musk, and amber. I highly 
recommend this. This is definitely worth the hype. It lasts so long on my skin. It smells so delicious. Every single time I wear this fragrance, I get so much compliments. You can't tell me nothing when I wear this fragrance. If you like those sweet vanilla fragrance notes, this is it. It's a little bit powdery, but that's only from the cacao. It doesn't last too long, but it definitely lasts in the fragrance. But what you get is that beautiful musk, amber, and sugar with a little sprinkle of vanilla and the red berries. Oh my God. Can't stop wearing it. I remember when I first got this, I was wearing it for a month straight, whether it was by itself or layering it. And I love to wear it to bed. I love to wear it to day night. I just love it. I had to put it in a back burner because this is my second bottle. Now, I be feeling so weird because I don't be telling y'all when I be repurchasing. This is my second bottle. I bought the amber vanilla and I bought the vanilla. They're the same thing. I don't know why Amazon separates it like that. I guess it's just to mess you up and make you go for the cheaper one. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. And I know that because the first order I did amber and then the second one I did the regular vanilla. Same thing, okay? Just different pricing for what I don't know. I don't know. Highly, highly recommend this. If you don't get anything else on this list, this is definitely one to think of. For sure, for sure. Because it's so good. And nobody smells like this. And the last one, but certainly not least, is one that definitely went viral. And I'm talking about probably more viral than any of these fragrances because of the price tag and the scent. It is definitely giving a gourmand. It smells very edible, but the price, at the time it was only $12. Let that sink in, $12. So you already know the girls ate it up. It was sold out for a long time and then it came back in stock. This Choco Musk. Now, when I first smelled this, I was just like, no, this is not it. All I smelled was alcohol. I was just like, I don't know why the girls keep talking about this. So I put it down. I let it sit there for six months. Honestly, I could have just left it there for two months, but I was just so disappointed in it. I let it sit there for six months. And one day while I was just wiping down my bottles, because I usually do that. I don't really show it, but I always wipe them down every two months. So the time came for me to wipe them down again. And when I tell you, I said, let me go ahead and pick up this Choco Musk and see what it's giving because the girl said it was giving and I don't see it so let me go ahead and try it again because there's a reason why everyone is hyping this up it must be really really good so I picked it up and I did this because I was expecting alcohol so I was just like whatever I'm doing this and I'm like there's no alcohol and while I kept doing this all I kept smelling was this beautiful milky chocolate and vanilla fragrance and I said, baby, baby, yeah. I was like, girl, finally understand the hype. And then I started to make more videos about it and I was just like, yeah, I changed my mind, girls. This is a good one. So it has notes of vanilla, milk chocolate, white musk, spicy notes, cinnamon, amber, sandalwood, myrrh, and rose. Honestly, I don't smell none of that. All I smell is a milky chocolate cake, okay? Yeah, you get a little bit of the spices, but honestly, it is blended so well that I cannot, you know, pinpoint each note, whether it's in the top, mid, or, you know, base. If you are looking to smell like your best self, this is it. This is literally like a cozy night by the fireplace with a cashmere sweater, a big fat cup of hot chocolate, and a whole bunch of marshmallows. Oh my gosh, this right here, is definitely worth the hype. So I would highly recommend to get it, but when you do get it, let it sit. The juice is definitely gonna get darker and the potency and the fragrance is really gonna sit there and marinate and become the best fragrance you've ever smelled with the note of milk chocolate for less than $50. Now, out of all the Middle Eastern fragrances that I have, when it comes to the very seductive fragrances, Choco Musk, Nebraska, and for sure, Casablanca is it. When you're trying to stand out and you're trying to blow up a room, La Venture Parfum and this Oud Omar or Amber Oud Gold. You guys, these are definitely TikTok viral fragrances that I've smelled that I really believe that the hype is real. Love these fragrances. These are fragrances that I feel like that are super unique, even though some of them are dupes of other fragrances, but I like dupes. I'm not gonna lie. I love dupes because I feel like you can use it for two reasons. One, to save money, 
and two, to experience the fragrance before you spend a crazy amount of money on the real thing. And if you were on the fence about them, get off the fence and get them like yesterday, okay? So comment down below some Middle Eastern fragrances that you really enjoy that are hyped on TikTok. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everything will be listed in the description box below for your convenience. Until we see each other again, please, please, please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances. Bye, Cherry Bob. See you tomorrow. <laughs> so